Call of Sentinels is a roguelike where you collect power-ups gifted to you by the gods as you battle your way through the various levels filled with evil monsters. It's a great, genuinely well-made game, which I enjoyed playing. It reminded me a lot of Hades, which again is an amazing roguelike. Here's what the developer at A17 Games has to say on Steam. Call of Sentinels is an exciting action game where you will have to challenge real evil. Epic battles await you with hordes of diverse enemies and powerful bosses that will not leave you indifferent. I'm going to be honest lads, I don't think that description is doing your game any justice and sells your game short. You need better wording than that. Steam text aside, Call of Sentinels is made in Unity as the launch splash screen tells me. I had no issues whatsoever with getting the game installed and running and their game looks great with beautiful sprites and other graphics. The maps you play in themselves are well put together and work really nicely with the game mechanics and controls. The controls, by the way, are super simple to get used to and can be viewed at any point by pressing the tab key by default. Now, the controls themselves can't actually be changed apart from a few settings like auto aiming and auto attacking. One thing I did really like about Call of Sentinels, most lines in the game are voice acted and you can really tell that the voice actors enjoyed reading their lines. I'm sure I will be pleased to meet you. <laughs> the gameplay is similar to that of an arena fighting game, where you're in an arena style map with enemies that spawn in. I think the gameplay is great fun and fantastic to help you unwind after a hard day. It's not too complex, but that's part of the charm and I can see myself playing this for quite some time. There are loads of environmental effects and damage areas you need to avoid. These can be there from the start or they can spawn in. These damage areas can get pretty intense when spawning in during boss fights and other events, so make sure you're careful with them. During the gameplay, you collect boons from completing quests which spawn randomly during combat. Quests range from guarding some people, guarding an area, killing enemies in an area, or chasing down some marked areas or reaching a set number of areas within a time limit to name a few. And of course, at the end of each level or map, there is a boss to fight. These boss fights are challenging, great fun, and definitely worth the time to get to. And that is the essential of Call of Sentinels. If you like roguelikes and are looking for a great game to wind down with, then I'd recommend giving this one a try.